So last night on the Ring of Honor tapings post-final battle, if you will, Tony Khan decided to introduce a new championship into the mix. Now, if the title doesn't give it away already, and if not the picture doesn't give it away, then, long story short, Tony Khan decided to introduce a new women's championship. But not just any women's championship, as the title of the video points out, he decides to introduce a new first ever Women's World Television Championship. Now, one would think that if you're going to introduce a television title, you know, one that's for the women, or even the men, you would think that that championship would be better utilized with AEW. I mean, it's on two major networks, you know, it's got three major shows. you think it'd be utilized better, you know, in that capacity. But it's not, but it's not, although I could be wrong, because this championship is Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor exclusive, or so we think. And the one question a lot of fans have is, how can you have a Ring of Honor television championship, or even a women's television championship now, for that matter, if you're not really on television? I mean, yeah, you got Honor Club. And yeah, once in a while, the championships of Ring of Honor will show up on AEW, but what sense does that really make? What sense does that really make if you don't have no legit television deal outside of appearances here and there on Dynamite, Rampage, and Collision? You know, what sense does that make? It makes none. Now, some would say, well, they're on Honor Club. You know, that that helps. Yeah, they're on Honor Club, but not everybody considers watching Honor Club on their computers, you know, or their mobile devices, or even their TVs, legit television. They don't. What this really is, is I believe Tony Khan is just trying to quail, trying to quill or quail, subdue, whatever term you want to use, um, the backlash that he's getting for not treating the women right. He's trying to basically subdue it. He's trying to quill it, if you will. So that way, you know, people won't keep talking negative about the fact that he's not treating the women's divisions um, on either brand, you know, fairly. He's not giving them opportunity. Now, last night, he, you know, on Collision, he put two women's matches on there. You know, he put a match with Abaddon on there. And which saw the return of Tyra, Tyra which saw the return of uh, Thunder Rosa, I should say, it saw the return of Thunder Rosa, I'm thinking somebody else. Um, it was saw the return of Thunder Rosa. And if that's not all, we saw a Texas street fight with Willow Nightingale and Chris Statlander against, you know, against uh, Mercedes Martinez and Diamante. So obviously he's trying to, I guess in his mind, and in the diehard fans' minds, he's trying to make up for the lack of women's wrestling, you know, on his shows. But if introducing a women's television championship is one way of doing it, then like I said, it should, it should mainly be introduced as part of AEW, not Ring of Honor. I mean, I get you want to make Ring of Honor just as important as AEW, but, I mean, but honestly, you know, why? What, because Athena? Athena is still reigning as the women's champion over there? Uh, question, Tony. Who's the one that's booking her into that uh, role? Who's allowing her to dominate every opponent or beat every opponent that she comes in contact with? Wh wh whose idea is that? You know, is it Athena's? No, it's yours. It's your idea. You're the one that's booking it. You're the one that decides, hey, I don't think I have anybody else to put the championship on. I'm going to keep it on Athena. It's like, it's like you don't know, it's like you don't know what to do with Athena. Everybody has been saying you need to put Athena in, a, you, know, fo you know, firmly in AEW. You need to have her do that. You need to have a be put firmly in AEW. The women's division needs someone like Athena on that, you know, 
running along with them. You know, and if you want to, you want to have her keep that women's championship a ring of honor, then have her defend it on AEW television. You know, at least give her that opportunity. And yeah, you may have put her and Billy Starks, you know, in the main event, in the closing match at Final Battle. That's great. But, you know, Tony, when you get down to it, these are things you should have done long ago. You should have done things like this long ago. And is it me? But, you know, have you forgotten that you did at one time put Athena in the main event of a, of a Ring of Honor event? Did you not forget you did that? Because I thought there was one time that you did. That there was one time that you did prior to Final Battle. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah. You know, it's, it's your call that's keeping Athena as the champion in Ring of Honor. Instead of having her do what Samoa Joe did. And vacate the title. And step up to the AEW plate. And challenge for the AEW Women's Championship. Or the AEW, uh, AEW TBS Championship. You're the one that's not letting her do that. And you should. You're seeing what it's doing for Samoa Joe and what it probably will do for Samoa Joe on December 30th at World's End. Why not let Athena do the same thing? Why not let her vacate that women's championship and instead of doing a tournament or whatever you're going to do for that women's television title, put your primary focus on the women's world title first and then the TV title next. That way, again, you allow Athena... To show that nobody can beat her, and you allow Athena to move on to the women's roster of AEW. And you let her compete against the likes of a Thunder Rosa. You let her compete against a Julia Hart. You let her compete, if you will, against a timeless Tony Storm. You let her do that. You let her do that. And you will see a growth, maybe a positive reaction to your women's division because Athena is your most over women's wrestler, complete in-ring women's wrestler that you have right now. And she's the most dominant. I mean, why do you think fans may have, you know, criticized for a bit Samoa Joe vacating the television title, but then finally understood why? Because they want to see Joe get that AEW world title. They want to see him go on a historic dominant run with it. And the same could be said for Athena. But it's you, Tony, that's not letting her do that. Which is why you get criticized for not booking the women's division correctly. Which is why you are now suddenly trying to fix that via putting, via putting Athena and Billy Starks in the main event of Final Battle. You know, doing two women's matches on Collision last night. And, oh, oh. Now you're going to introduce a new women's television title because your current, the current women's champion you know, cannot be toppled. Or you're not allowing that to happen. You had the biggest opportunity of your life. You know, the biggest opportunity of your life at Final Battle to make a star out of Billy Starks. You did. You could have had Billy Starks do what no other woman has done. Beat Athena. And then that would have given Athena a pass. To go to you know to the AEW women's division, but you didn't do that. You didn't do that. So that's on you, Tony. That's on you. Nobody else. But yeah, as a result, Tony has created this women's television title. And some have felt that, you know, if you know if he is committed to this, and as long as it stays on Ring of Honor, Honor Club, if you will, then they don't have a problem with it. But if they start seeing it show up on AEW television, that's when they're going to have a problem. I mean, so I mean, it's enough that we already have the Ring of Honor champion Eddie Kingston, you know, showing up. But well, he's part of the you know Continental Classic. But still, it's one thing for him to show up and and everything is you know along with defending his title. You know, it's one thing there. It's one thing we're going to have Kyle Fletcher show up a lot more because he's part of the Don Callis family. And, oh, he's got the Ring of Honor television title now. You know, it's like, seriously, it's, 
It's like they don't know how to make up their minds. Like I said, you know, you have, you know, Eddie Kingston is your world champion showing up on, you know, AEW, which, you know, is, you know, he has a reason for that. He has a reason for that. You have Kyle Fletcher, like I said, is going to show up now with the Ring of Honor te- television title because he's part of the Don Calla family. You have Wheeler Utah, Wheeler Utah, the pure champion, you know, part of the Blackpool Combat Club. But you're going to have him showing, you have him showing up a lot. And then your tag titles... You have them on the. You have them on uh, MJF and Adam Cole better than you, Bebe. You know you have the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Titles on them, and for what reason? I mean, yeah, you want to enhance the storyline and speculation that Adam Cole is not everything he says he is, but it's like seriously, you know what? What's the point? What's the point? We know they're not going to keep those belts for long. Though that tag team division, along with AEWs, according to a lot of people, doesn't even exist right now. You know, it's like they don't even exist. It's like seriously. And then you also have the Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Titles held by, you know, Brian Cage and the gate in the, you know, in the Gates of Agony. You know, the the Gates of Agony, um, if you will. You have them holding that. And they're showing up on AEW television. And then, of course, like you say, you have Athena with the Women's Championship, which she's held for a year now, literally over a year, for 373 days, according to Wikipedia. And now, now, you got a new championship showing up. And here's what's crazy. Athena, unlike anybody else on that Ring of Honor championship roster, that list of champions you currently have, you know, Kingston, Fletcher, Utah, you know, Cole, MJF, the Mogul Embassy, she is the only one that has yet to really appear as much as she should, you know, on AEW. The last time she appeared was what? As part of the Owen Hart tournament? It's like, is that it? Is that all you're going to do with her? That, That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. And now you want to introduce another championship just because and, – and what are you going to do? Are you going to do a tournament that is supposed to be Ring of Honor exclusive only, but instead you're going to be like, oh, we'll put this tournament on AEW television too. Is that your plan? Is that your plan? Because honestly, that would be stupid. That would be stupid. If you're going to fully commit to this being a Ring of Honor exclusive championship for the women's division there, it needs to be competed there. It needs to be defended there. It needs to be, you know, put into a tournament or whatever kind of match you make of it, Casino Battle World or whatever, it needs to happen in Ring of Honor. You know, that's what you need to do. You need to put your stake into the Ring of Honor brand. Because if this is just going to be another championship that, yeah, you might crown, you know, at a Ring of Honor event, or you're going to decide, hey, Revolution's coming up, we're going to crown it there, you know, and and that would be the big mistake there. That would be a big mistake if you decide, hey, we're going to crown the Ring of Honor Women's Champion, the first one ever, at an AEW pay-per-view. That's not going to make sense. That's not going to work out right. So, Tony Khan... You better have an idea of how you're going to crown a champion with this. And you better make sure that it's part of Ring of Honor and Ring of Honor only. Because if anybody, because I can tell you right now, if anybody starts seeing tournament matches taking place on Dynamite, Rampage, and Collision, and then the ID, as well as even Ring of Honor, but mostly on your 3AW shows, if they see that, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Tony, you think the criticism for not utilizing the women's division and not trying to truly separate your two wrestling brands, you know, is bad now? It's going to be even worse. You do that. It's going to be even worse. And you know what's crazy, Tony, is you already have people questioning and wondering, oh, what's next? What's the next championship? He's going to introduce. Is he going to introduce women's tag titles? Is he going to introduce uh, a Florida championship? Or oh wait 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 I know I know he's going to introduce a United States tag team titles or he's going to introduce United States championship. You know what's next, Tony? 
That's what people will want to know. That's what people are going to want to know. Like, what's next with you? Because, honestly, this is your answer. Along with putting Athena and Billy Starks in the main event at Final Battle, and then giving us two women's matches last night in Collision, if you think this is going to be your answer to the criticism of you not utilizing the women you should, you know, the way you should, I should say, if this is your answer to that, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. You've got a lot more to do. you got to, this is, I'll put it this way. This is a f nice first step in the right direction. I'll put it that way. Nice first little step in the, n in, that, in the right direction. But you need to make sure that you continue right walking, you know, a straightforward line in that direction and not screw up. And the way you start is you make sure this women's television championship is only contested in Ring of Honor. We should not see one tournament match or two or three or whatever on any AEW programming. Nor after we crown a new champion, we should not see that champion defending that title on AEW programming. Period. And Tony, I guarantee you, even after it's all said and done, you're still going to get criticized because... Everybody knows that you have yourself to blame for this. Not for the fact that you didn't treat the women's division correctly, and now you're trying to make up for it. But mostly because of the fact that you've had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to take the women's championship off Athena and allow her to move up to the AEW women's division where she belongs. But you never have. I mean, and I don't get it. Is it because you're afraid she's going to outshine everybody? Is that it? Are you, are you afraid that she's going to outshine everybody in that ring? You know, that fans are going to get behind her more so than anyone else? Is that what you're afraid of? Because if you are, then maybe, maybe, you need to re, maybe you need to reset and restart that women's division and focus on those, you know, that can put on stellar matches. Focus on those that can put on stellar stories. Focus on those that can get people behind them. Because if not, you know, because if not, you honestly are not going to, you honestly, you are not going to be able to live with this or live with the criticism that comes your way. If you don't fully, you know, fully fix what you have started or what you have, what you have started to degrade which you have started to degrade. And like I said, this might be a, a little first step, like a tiny first step in the right direction, but you need to make big steps going forward, and you need to make sure you stay in that straight line, Tony. Because if not, it's all on you. And the only reason for this television championship being created is because you, don't, it's because you haven't had the guts. You have not had the balls to book Athena to lose that title, or even give Athena the same opportunity you gave Samoa Joe. This is on you, Tony. No one else. This is on you. But let me know what you guys think about this, about Tony Khan introducing a new television championship, mostly a women's television championship, into the fold. Do you think he has no one else but himself to blame for it because he hasn't had the opportunity or the guts or the balls to get the belt off Athena or let her vacate it to move her to the women's division in AEW? What are your thoughts on that? And do you think this is the first step, a very small, very tiny first step in the right direction to try to, re try to fix the women's division? Or do you think he's going to screw this up like he's done everything else? with the women's division, and do you think we're going to be seeing these tournament matches not just be on Ring of Honor, but on AEW television as well? Let me know down below in the comments, as well as in the live chat during the premiere. Like the video, and until next time, I am out.